Hi guys, today we'll be testing one of the best dumplings in Shanghai. It's a little hole in the wall. It's one little secret of Shanghai, although you can't find it in the Michelin guide. But it's a hole in the wall and it's totally worth it. You guys are gonna love it. Yes. It's a long way to walk. I just had a better idea. Why don't we get a bike and go there driving? I was tired of walking. It was a little bit impulsive, but we got a couple of bikes. Let's enjoy Shanghai. We're here in Yunnanlu, in the middle of the street, it's a little messy, but in one of these little stalls, there's actually a Michelin star venue. And that's somewhere here. Number 89, let's see what they have. It's basically a self-service kind of place. You pick up your food from downstairs, try to find a seat, and they're the best. And the soup is a fish bowl soup. Tim Cook has been here. So this is a famous place, by far the best company in town. A little piece of history. The story has been here forever. Right, back to the street. So in this street in Yunnanlu, you can eat pretty well. The prices are very inviting. it. This was the impulsive buy of the day. It makes a lot of sense to drive around Shanghai in moped. Uh, they're electrical, so super sustainable. You know, they just allow us to get from point A to point B really fast. It is a nice little bike and perfectly enough to ride around the city, like a 5-10 minute ride. Going to do some groceries or meeting some friends nearby. It is a pretty nice ride. Of course, I got a little lock because you can never be too careful. It's a time for a little review. China regulates the use of these small bikes. In 2019, they implemented the law that everything needs to be registered and obviously this is one of the bikes that can be registered the top speed is about 40 kilometers an hour the maximum range is also 40 kilometers so you'll probably be able to ride for an hour before the battery runs out it's not fast that's true but think about it in a city like Shanghai if, if you're if you're riding for more than half an hour then you should probably be taking a car should probably be using a subway Niu is one of the most popular bike manufacturers in China it, it means cow I think you know those big bulls it means bull actually this version is the U1. My wife got the N1. There's the, there's the faster version as well. In Shanghai, almost nobody uses a, a helmet, but if you're riding 
anything, just put a helmet on and protect those brains. Another cool thing of Neo is that they have uh, an app, an app for your phone. It tracks the bike, it lets you know on average how much are you consuming, it, your habits of travel, it, it helps you out a little bit on that regard. But also it's linked to the bike, so if the alarm rings you'll be able to know it on your phone. The bike also has pedals, so if you run out of battery you can just plug in the pedals and, and continue pedaling. Every time you brake it retrieves back that energy from braking back into the battery. So, so it's pretty cool. I hope I have the chance to bring this one back to Europe with me. Also remember that in Shanghai it is only allowed to, to ride with one person in the bike at all times. But this bike and all new bikes, they support more than one. They carry a, a lot of weight and actually that's, that's the base of the name, Niu, the, the pool, the working pool, the water buffalo. Uh, it's supposed to carry a lot of weight. So it's, it's a working beast. So what was the price, right? That's the last question. This one retails for about 4,000 yuan, which should be about 500 bucks. I'll drop the price below. My wife's retails for about 5,000 something yuan. Uh, with all the upgrades, it might reach 7,000, but they have, of course they have better versions, bigger versions. If you didn't have the opportunity to ride a bike before, I would highly recommend something like this. The throttle isn't that powerful. When you turn the throttle, it's pretty gentle. So it's, it's perfect. I mean, if you want to ride around the city, enjoy the city to the fullest, something like if you live in a compact city like Shanghai, you have a lot of stuff that you want to do nearby, you want to ride everywhere, you, you don't want to be calling a cab or an Uber all the time, this is probably the best way to do it. Glad that I could show you a little bit more about Shanghai. I'll try to do it more often. And don't forget to subscribe, click that bell button and see you soon.